It's the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show. You can follow me on Twitter at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is the Open Mic Broadcast Network. You can listen to the archive episodes of the Mike Prince Show by way of Spotify, Google Podcast, Spreaker.com, SoundCloud, and iHeartRadio Podcast. I don't know if I remember to tell you, but you can always check us out on the website at obnradio.com. What an exciting flip-flopping week of football we had this past week. We're going to get to our power rankings in just a moment, but looking at all that took place over the weekend, Prairie View amazingly still in the driver's seat for the Western Division title, and that was thanks to the FAMU Rattlers defeating the Southern Jags and Jackson State taking care of Texas Southern. So with the two games that remain for Prairie View on the road, they could be trap games. They look like should be strongly winnable games, but you got to play them out. They'll be on the road at Pine Bluff, Arkansas. 2 p.m. kickoff time for that one. Then they finish up against Mississippi Valley on the road, and we all know the Mississippi Valley took it to the Panthers last season at home. Man, oh man, what a lot to just take in right now. But with all that, we're going to get into our power rankings for week number 10. Number one, Jackson State. Number two, Fam U. Number three, we're going to have to put in Alcorn State. Number four, we're going to have to put in Mississippi Valley. Number five, we got to look at the work being done by the Grambling State Tigers taking care of business number six we're going to put Alabama State number seven we're going to have to put in the Alabama A&M Bulldogs even though they lost number nine I'm sorry yeah number eight I'm all confused and discombobulated on this thing. Too much going on. Number eight, we're going with Alabama State. Did I not say Alabama State? I'm so confused right now, but bear with me. Number nine, we're going to have to put in Texas Southern. Number 10, we're going to have Arkansas at Pine Bluff. I'm sorry, number 10 is Southern University. Forgive me. Number 11 is Arkansas at Pine Bluff. And then number 12 this week, someone has to bring up the rear, right? I won't even tell it. You all can fill in the blank. But those are our power rankings for week 10. Had a lot of other things getting started off over the weekend. I want to give congratulations to Jackson State soccer team. They took care of business to win the tournament. They'll represent the conference. That tournament took place on the campus of Prairie View. Grambling State Tigers volleyball team 
mm-hmm. secured their victory over Prairie View over the weekend to end that regular season play. So they'll get into the tournament play for volleyball coming up real soon, which will be hosted at Texas Southern University. So, as we mentioned, it was so much going on. And don't forget, we got basketball season starting on today. You're going to have the women taking on the Houston Tillerson Ball Club at 1.30 Central Standard Time is the tip-off. But prior to that, you're going to have basketball by the men as they take on Kansas Christian College at 11 a.m. So a whole lot in store for this week as we get to that tween time of the season where you got football, basketball, you're going to have your soccer and volleyball, all this colliding into one motion. Don't forget, you can listen to us daily here at the Mike Prince Show on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We'll be hearing from our coordinators for the Panthers as well as the head football coach, Bubba McDowell. In spite of the Panthers are still in pole position. Who would have thought that one? But that's the way the cookie crumbles at times, right? If I get a chance to, I want to draw up something on the board and share with you guys that I think would be a pretty good move for not only Prairie View but for Southwestern Athletic Conference programs in the very near future but I have to let you simmer on that one for a little while my time is far spent right now that I must exit stage left I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Thank you guys so much. You guys have been joining and tuning in through our football coverage for the 2022 season. We truly, truly thank you for that. We still got some more games to be played. And hopefully, hopefully, the Panthers can make it consecutive Western Division titles. We shall see. I've got to go. My time is far spent. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. You guys be blessed. And we'll see you on the other side.